May went off for real, for real. Tell y'all. For real, for real. In 180 seconds or less, all my OG followers are already gonna know what's good with the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balms. Let me tell you something. The struggle to keep your lips hydrated is very real and it's not as easy as you think. CarMax personally don't really work for me. Chapstick is just like the Vaseline of lips. In my opinion, it just coats whatever state your lips are in, it doesn't actually moisturize. I just feel like if your lips are dry, you're just putting on chapstick to coat the dryness. You know what I mean? Like, like petroleum jelly. I've tried $40 lip balms, I've tried high-end lip balms, and I've tried other low-end lip balms. I honestly don't even remember or know how I got hit to these. I think I just randomly, I don't know, I think I actually might have just random stroke of luck and just picked them out and tried them, and they are. So bomb. Like for real, for real, for real, for real though, like I never run out because I just refuse to have dry lips in 2018. Like it's just, I can't, I can't. I've been getting them for like seven bucks each at like Sephora, so. And as you can see, I don't like to run out. I mean like these are my backups for my backups. It's almost become a habit where like every time I go to Sephora, that's where I get them from by the way, I, I grab them, you know, like I buy them because they're there, so why not? I used to be one of those people that was addicted to chapstick and addicted to lip balm. Like I always had to have balm. My, my lips always had to feel hydrated with something. This, in my opinion, actually medicates the lips. It actually treats dryness. It doesn't just coat them and make them feel glossy and pretty, you know, like it actually has benefits to it. My favorite one in particular, my favorite scent, the grapefruit one, I really like, oh, it smells so good. Especially like when Bay is wearing it, you just go in for a kiss and you just get that citrusy zest of flavor. It's just such a good and invigorating. Like, don't you feel like there's scents that really do pick you up? And especially because it's so close to your lips and your lips have so many nerves. So there's so much feeling and attachment there, you know? Shea butter is also a really good, I'm getting so scientific with this. I also really like the shea butter one. It's very soothing, it's very like calming. These are not the type of lip balms that are gonna have that cooling minty feel. They're just a regular lip balm that I really like and that I've been using for like, I wanna say like two years now because they're so good. I tried a lot of recommendations and they were cool, you know? But I really like these. I'm gonna be sticking with these for a while. I don't foresee me ever I don't know, man. Oh, and they have SPF 25. SPF on your lips is something I think I think a lot of people overlook, probably even myself. And it's nice to know that the product already has that sun protection in it because your lips are susceptible to sun damage too. You know, you gonna need, you gonna need it. That's my recommendation for today. Spring is here, spring is near, summer's coming. So if you're a little bit more dry than the rest of your counterparts and you're looking for a new lip balm, have no fear. I promise you, while I can't guarantee that it'll work for you, everything works differently for everyone, but I really like these and I would, Scouts honor, never steer you wrong. Thank you guys for watching today's episode and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.